Hey, what's up everyone? I figured today's review will be about the remake of the movie Overboard, which of course was the popular um, 1987 classic movie starring Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. Um, in that particular movie, uh, Goldie Hawn was the spoiled, you know, heiress, and then of course, you know, Kirk Russell was, you know, the, the poor guy, you know, Dean, and, but in, and it was directed by Gary Marshall in the 87 version. But in this particular case, it's a gender swapping role, which in the re in the remake version, you know, Ignacio Debesio, De a Mexican actor, plays the small play, you know, boy Mexican named Leonardo, and of course, you know, you know, the poor person this time is Anna Ferris character, you know, was you know a sing you know named Kate who's a single mother, you know, trying to make ends meet with her three daughters, and then of course, you know, when you know, Leonardo, you know, fires her for being, you know, a pain in the ass, you know, because she didn't want to do something, you know, for him when he had all those people working for him to do it, you know, one day, you know, in comic, you know, comic and hijinks and shun, he falls off his, his thing, his $60 million yacht, and, you know, he kind of loses his amnesia, and of course, you know, when his sister sees him, you know, in the hospital like that, she abandons him, and of course, you know, Kate seeing it as an opportunity to get payback on Leonardo for having her fired from her job, you know, I guess claims, you know, has him like figuring that, you know, being that Leonardo's wealthy and all can, I guess she figured at first that she could use him to help, you know, settle her, you know, debts and, you know, having, you know, things like that. But then, of course, throughout the movie, you know, that she, you know, she starts to fall in love with him and I guess she sees him for more than the spoiled playboy that he is and I guess beneath all that he's like a decent person underneath it all I mean well I'll admit I haven't seen the original Overboard movie so I can't compare the two but maybe when I get a chance I'll try to see the original movie if I can but I will admit surprisingly the movie the remake version of Overboard was surprisingly much better than I thought it would be I thought it would be you know really corny and all that but surprisingly it manages to work and stay relevant and I guess the film and the remake version kind of, kind of, you know, in a sense, sort of mentions the events of the 87 version or, you know, makes a reference to it of sorts. So that was kind of nice to see. So in terms of like the rating for the film, I would say I'll give it like maybe like a 7 or 8 out of 10, you know, but, but it would have been cool to see like a little bit more, you know, the dynamic of, um, you know, Leonardo's, you know, backstory with his, you know, father who wanted his son to take over, you know, his uh, empire and I guess stop being a foolish, irresponsible playboy. And of course, you know, seeing, you know, Kate's relationship with her mother being developed a bit more. But surprisingly, I liked it, you know, like I said, much better than I thought. And I would say it's, I would definitely recommend seeing it for those that want to get a few laughs and, you know, you know, see, you know, I guess people fall in love and have a good, you know, see a good, enjoyable story. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.